Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Um, today is Monday, uh, January 21st. It's Martin Luther King Day, so happy Martin Luther King Day. Uh, I am starting off the vlog today. It's about 10 a.m. I'm in front of Albertsons, and everyone's going to be home today, so I decided that um, we were gonna, like, I don't know, we were gonna make sushi, mom's gonna make something, I don't know, we're having, like, a little party to celebrate Martin Luther King Day. I mean, any any reason to celebrate and have a party, right? So, but it's just literally just gonna be us. So, uh, I'm coming here. Uh, mom already picked up a couple things for sushi, but she forgot some other things, so I'm getting carrots, I'm getting cucumber, and I think that's pretty much it. So um, we'll see what else they have here. I might pick up a couple other goodies. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's that's what we're going to do right now. I don't think I'm going to bring you guys into the store with me because I'm just going to run in and out. So I'll see you guys in. Back in the car. Got all my stuff. I actually found these Arizona green teas, and they were 60-something cents per bottle instead of 99 cents, which I thought was a good deal. So, um... I got four of them. And, okay, so I'm loving my YSL bag. It's literally so awesome. I love the convenience and ease of use. So I'm very excited about that as well. Um, but yeah, got my cucumber and my carrots and my Arizona green teas. Those are my favorite. So I'm very excited. Let's go home. And I'm going to put one of these in a blast chiller in the fridge and make it nice and cold so I can drink it already. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see my mug? Uh, I cannot believe I finally found it. So... I'm super excited. Um, I hope all, I, I, I think all the dishes, oh no, they're not all washed. Let's see if I can spell my name out right now though. So let's do this. Hey guys, my dream has come true. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need another eye though so I can do It's Hadrian, so I'm on the hunt for another eye, but Hadrian has now been spelled out completely. Yay! Alright, now I'm just gonna wash this candlestick that I just got. Now I have three of these, I'm so excited. Alright you guys, I have my little sushi station set up. I'm making sushi right here. And then mom is over here in the kitchen and she is making a soup. The kids are screaming upstairs. You guys can probably hear them. But she's making a delicious bulgogi soup. Ooh, yum. All right, I have everything finally set up. I got my rice, my imitation crab meat, all my veggies, and avocado. And I have my Japanese mayo, which is so delicious. I have my new platters that I got. I'm gonna be putting my sushi on. They're so pretty. Wow. And then, mom finally has everything all set up. We're gonna be using this, what is this called, mom? This hot pot thing? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, Japanese I don't know. hot pot. Our friend from Japan gave it to us, so yeah. it's gonna be really fun to use. It's our first time using it, or our second yeah. time? Yeah. Our first time using this. I hope all of the food is gonna fit inside. <laughs> Here are the noodles, look at that. Hey guys, I'm still making more sushi, but this is how I have so far. But I still have a lot of rice left, so that usually dictates how much um, sushi I make. Hey guys, the soup looks delicious. Okay. The the meat okay. is cooked, and now I put the meat already. She sure did. Yes. Okay, so then up and next, it's already soft. Are the noodles? So I'm going to put the noodles. What kind of noodles are these? These are sweet potato noodles. Sweet potato noodles. And I soak this for like 20, 30 minutes in cold water. Cold water. Yep. And... Yummy. And, and then now... Are you going to add the veggies yet or not yet? I want to cook the, the noodles a little bit. Oh, that Maybe looks I'll cook, so I'll put good. The, I'll put the, some of these uh, noodles in. All right, we're adding the veggies. So we're gonna add the carrots, the carrots. carrots. Oh. Uh -huh. The inuki mushrooms. Inuki. Inuki mushrooms. Carrots. And I have. Uh, Bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Okay. And then we're going to put 
What is this called again? I forgot. Uh, okay, wait. All right, and now we're gonna put. All this, uh, chrysanthemum green. Chrysanthemum greens. Uh huh. And it's called. What is it called in in Korean? It's called um, suk sukgat sukgat. Okay. And what are those? And Anaheim peppers. And this is. Um, some peppers. What kind of peppers? The long peppers. <laughs> long peppers. It's whatever a, those are. It's I don't know what it's called, but it's the long peppers. Yeah. And we're going to put. Oh my gosh! It looks so good. And you're gonna put eggs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Eggs. Can you find it? Can you find the eggs? There Where you is go. Waldo? There you go. Good morning, crazy salutations, YouTube is here and here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. So I just loaded up the car. I have um, all of the, all my packages in here that I'm gonna be mailing out. And now I'm actually waiting inside the car. I'm waiting for mom. Uh, we're actually, gonna, we're gonna go to the post office. I think we're gonna go to the bank. And then we're gonna do something super fun that we haven't done in quite some time. And this is gonna be our first time going there this entire year. And that's gonna be going to the Pottery Barn Outlet. So I'm very excited about that. I haven't been there in forever. I don't actually even remember the last time I was there. But we have reward certificates that we want to use i think one of them is expiring like really really soon and the other ones are expiring next month so we want to use them before they expire uh and i want to take a look through this store i know they have a lot of really great stuff that i can't wait to see so i'll take you guys along with me i'll do a little tour of the store show you guys what they have and i'm also going to be putting up in my instagram stories as well so if anyone is in the area and wants to stop by over there um you guys can go check it out and it is the pottery barn outlet and I think it's it's West Covina or City of Industry. It's one of those two cities. Uh, I know they're just like they're adjacent to each other, so it's, I always forget which city it is. Uh, but it's one of my favorite places to go, and I'm very excited to take you guys along with me. So I'm waiting for mom. I'll see you guys in a second. You guys, we finally made it. We're here. Yay! Are you excited, mom? <laughs> She's not really excited. She's super excited. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited that it's 50% off your entire purchase? I think now she's excited. Alright, you guys, they have a... Oh! Oh, I really like these with the Mongolian. <gasps> so these are gonna be $200, I think. Oh my gosh, I love them. There's two of them. Oh, I love them. Ooh, I like these chairs too. 500. Oh, they have so much nice stuff right now. I really like this mirror, Mom. I love these round mirrors like this. You guys, mirrors here are amazing right now. Look at this one. This is stunning. That one's 600. I really like that for like the bathroom downstairs, maybe. Mom and I are going nuts. Well, look at this like bamboo-ish kind of looking one. Little star burst action. They have a lot of mirrors. Ooh, mink. <laughs> Faux mink. <gasps> Stop! This is like an ocelot or something. Ooh, I can settle for the pillow instead of the blanket, maybe. That's really pretty. You guys, I wish we had a mud room. <laughs> what? Ooh, something embroidered sheet set. Sheet set. Yeah. Ooh, mom, look at this. It has like birds and flowers. I like this. I always like this at 
I remember when they had this there yeah. and you really wanted it. They were yeah. so expensive. Oh, so Cal King. They're half off though. I know. So I'm kind of dying over this Lucite leg leather ottoman. It's in like a gray leather. It's gorgeous. But the only downside is that it's literally $4,000. Um, yeah, a little pricey, <laughs> but it's gorgeous. I think it's from Williamson of my home. Uh, this actually is really nice too, with, like, I like the fabric, like a velvet. Mom's still over there, she's still looking at the blankets and stuff like that. <gasps> That's the chair that I want. That's the stool I want, but like the lower one. That's what I want for the house. <laughs> yeah. Like if we find them, like we can just sell the other ones to Auntie because she really wants them and then we can just get those. <laughs> Ooh! This is really nice too. Uh, let's go. Oh, Mom, look. Do you see there? Hold on. Let's go back there. There might be in boxes. <laughs> What's that? This is the other one that I like too. This style, but it's too, that's also too high. You guys, it's looking like they don't have the size that we want. Yeah, everything's too tall. I really want to see that table right there, like the top of that gold table. Oh, uh, there's the top of the table. <laughs> Mom's looking at the plates. We have a problem because we love plates so much. That's where I get it from, you guys. That way there. No, nothing. Not what? We're, oh, look at those I classes. Those are beautiful. You need this <laughs> You don't have enough glasses. Like this. But when do we ever drink anything like that needs to go inside that Water. anyway? We have a lot of glasses, don't we? <laughs> Ooh, look at that table. Look at the base on it, that's amazing. That's what mom wants for ice cream. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at its edge. How much is it? Twelve. Twelve dollars. For one. Kate's gonna break that when he tries to and scoop the ice cream out. this is what I want for Halo Halo. Oh, don't we have something like that? No. Yeah, but we have a few. Only a few. We don't have enough. Mm -hmm. But this one's nice. It's, it's tall. I think they have one that's not. Yeah, that, I like the height of that. That'd be really nice for Halo Halo. Yeah. Oh, mom, look at the Harry Potter stuff down there. Ah, what? Harry Potter. What are those? Uh, oh, aprons. Oh. Adult apron. <gasps> I want this. I want the Gryffindor one. This Gryffindor. Nice. Gryffindor. We're looking for a new kitchen rug. This one looks pretty promising. Look at the kids. Oh, look at that. It's a side dresser, mom. Mom, look at that little side, little okay. right there. That's nice. Oh, Looks like a ball, like a like a trunk. Oh, do you think they have any Harry Potter stuff? Maybe. Why do I kind of like that gold and white striped sheets though? Oh, that's a nice mirror over there. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, the whales are back. Oh, oh, mom, they have the Harry Potter. The platform nine and three quarters banquet. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. That's like the only thing they have though is a blanket. I think. Oh wait, they have these. A sham. Oh, the Quidditch sham. Oh. You guys, I'm like literally having a heart attack. Ooh, I like this too. Oh my gosh, those Lightning McQueen pillows are so cute. Eliza is gonna like, look, they have the blankets, they have the sheets. Look at this thing, like the butterflies. so cute. I like this picture of the parrot. Like, even though it's like yeah, in the kids' section, like I would put that in the house. <laughs> it's cute. I think we're gonna get this corduroy cozy quilt set for Zach. Look, it's like fur on the bottom part. 
So I think he's really gonna like that because he likes quote unquote comfy things. That's so. I wish they had the other sheets. I'm gonna like if they ever have them here. I'm gonna buy them for myself. The one with like the unicorn. It's the blue one. The blue one. No, they don't. I haven't. I'm still looking for it, but I don't think I. I don't think I see it. Ooh, I like that mirror over there. All right, I'm taking you guys on a tour of the various coffee tables, console tables, and stuff that they have. I'm sorry the music is a little loud, so I'm trying to speak a little louder, but this little mirrored cube is actually pretty cute. $300, though. Yikes. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have the Ella chandelier. Oh, look at this one, Mom. The round one. You guys, look at that Starburst chandelier. You know, if only we can send these to the Philippines. <laughs> that would like make my life. I know. Oh, mom, look at they have like the beaded chandeliers. Oh, they have these little jar ones. This is so cool, but it looks like it's missing some pieces or something. I think you're supposed to like screw them on. It's weird. Um, Look at these. Oh, very well, thank you. Yeah, everything looks amazing. I love watching your video. <laughs> oh, Mom and I are debating this <laughs> lamp <laughs> whether or not we like it. No, it's gonna look nice. It's not gonna look because it's it's. Yeah. It's gonna look good. Mom's looking at candles. Oh, look at these like, cute little containers. Mmm, that does smell good. Oh, these are like the St. Jude candles. You guys, look at how Pinteresty these are. They're like jar lights with fairy lights inside. Goodness gracious. Mom, did you see this? Um, I love. Mom, no, did you see this over here? What matches our. Oh, look at my little plates right there. Yeah. And look at this. this How much is, is this? Twenty dollars. I like these little crystal-y things, whatever those are. <laughs> no, but mom, did you see this pink sofa? You're gonna oh die for the color. God, yeah. Let's look at it and sit on it. <laughs> oh, it's a sleeper sofa. Oh my gosh, the faux botanicals. I really like this fake cactus. Oh, and they have pre-made little bouquets for $60, though. That's crazy. But honestly, though, they have the best faux botanicals, I feel like. Pottery Barn is so good. Guys, Mom and I are obsessed with this runner. How long is this? It's long enough. It's 108. I think that's long enough. Or do we need 120? I'm so confused by our table. Alright you guys, I just got back inside the car. Um, I'll show you guys what we got when we get home. So let's go back. I'm here with the fam that's not at work or at school. And we are here at this new place called Take Your Seat. You, me, brunch. Oh my gosh, they're a little set up. Oh my gosh, you guys, my drink came. It's called the Milo Dinosaur. National Polka Dot Day. It's oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is mom's mm -hmm. coffee? It has a little so heart you, in it. Ooh, Can I mom's eat it now? pancakes just came. They look so delicious. Oh, maybe we should have. Look at that. That looks good. Yeah. Alright, here's John's food. Got the chicken bowl. Looks so good. How cute are the little baskets that they give you with the fries? Mom, I think we need these. This is so stinking cute. And here's my food. I got the tri-tip bowl. It looks so delicious. I love there's like a little egg right there. Yum. Oh my gosh, you guys, we ate everything. John, how was it? Hey guys, okay, so we're back at the house and I wanted to show you guys what we did end up getting today from the Pottery Barn outlet because we got a few pretty cool things. Um, so we wanted to outfit the kids' room with new uh, bed sheets and stuff. And the first one that I have here, this one is going to be for... Kate's like listening. 
<laughs> so the first thing I have here is this beautiful corduroy cozy plush quilt and it's beautiful it's like in a beautiful quilted um, red corduroy it's super soft and gorgeous and then the inside like the underneath part is like this faux fur which is really nice this is gonna be for Zach's bunk and this is so so soft it's so warm and it's so cozy and he's going to love it so I'm very excited about that so that is the first thing I have there Sorry, everything is like inside the bag, so and these bags are like bottomless. They're huge. The next thing I have here, um, I did get myself a Harry Potter apron. And this is for when uh, mom and I do our little cooking segments. I want to have like a cool little apron, so this is going to be mine, and I'm very excited about that. Um, this one was $40, but it ended up being $20. And it's Gryffindor, obviously, because, you know house Gryffindor. <laughs> the next thing I have here, uh, I did get these two, these are for um, for Cade, and they are the Harry Potter Patchwork Quilted Shams. Check that out. They are really cute. Actually, let me open them up so you guys can see the full effect, though I know a lot of you guys have already seen these because you guys have messaged me about the collection of Harry Potter stuff that Pottery Barn Teen was doing. And their stuff is amazing. There's actually one collection that I really like. It's like the the light blue collection with like, it has like Hogwarts on it and I think like the, the unicorn or something. It's really nice and it's just like a beautiful blue color. And I am pretty obsessed with it, if I do say so myself. They didn't have it at the store, unfortunately. But check it out. So really, really cool. Just like pillow shams. Um, these are really nice. It has like the platform nine and three quarters. It has the golden snitch. It has the lion right there, and yeah, also all sorts of little Harry Potter goodies on there. And we got two of those for, um, that's gonna be for Cade's bed. And the last thing here, well, actually not last, but second to last thing, we did also get the matching quilt for Cade. It's awesome. I love this quilt so much. Ugh. I love the colors on here too. Like the combination is very chic and it's very like, I don't know. I want to say like kind of Ralph Lauren-esque in like the feel and color. Like if Harry Potter and Ralph Lauren had like a baby quilt, like this would be it. So very, very excited. This one was originally 200, but it was down to 100. And then, this is the last thing, Mom. It's really funny, because Mom has actually been wanting this sheet set since I was actually working at Pottery Barn years ago. And this is called the Ryland Embroidered Sheet Set, Cal King size in white. Look at this beautiful like lace detail. On there, I don't want to open it up yet, but I'm going to show you guys like a full like room reveal when we redo because we're going to redo um, a mama's bedroom. And it's going to be so much fun, and this is going to be an integral piece to that um, little room makeover. So there's that. This one was $249. Uh, again, half off, so $125. But that. It's going to be today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today and like going to Pottery Barn, going to that, oh my gosh, that restaurant was so good. What was it called? It was called, um, I already forgot the name, like pull up a chair, no, uh, hold on, I'm not going to like, I want to be, well, I want to tell you guys what it is so you guys can go to it if you guys have ever um, been. I put it all over Instagram, so if you guys, um, Follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it there. But it is called, man, I have so many Instagram stories. Um, take your seat, brunch, yes. So like, I have like, oh, there's like a little Elizo. Oh, the food was so good. These cloud pancakes were amazing. Um, oh, the, the John got the chicken bowl. I got the, um, the steak. Oh, there's a french fries right there. Oh, there's the steak. So it, it was so delicious, you guys. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. Oh, you know what? Let's do a quick, 
little Q and A thing because I haven't done that. We'll do a thrift find of the day as well because I know I have been slacking on that immensely. Um, uh, some well, Gwen Scott said I would love to go thrifting with you. I love to go thrifting with you too, Gwen. Oh, dear Molly Ann, Molly, you're so sweet. Molly messages me all the time. Um, love the pigeons and those platters are gorgeous and your sushi look beautiful on them. I recently found a small white pottery barn vase at Goodwill and had to laugh because I picked it up and look at it because it had some chips and I really liked the look of that, like an old world feel. Saw it was PB and laughed thinking about you crying over chip finds. Normally I don't buy chip things either, but in this case it gave, it gave it some character. You know what? Some of the pieces from Pottery Barn, um... They kind of have like built in kind of like age, chip, old world kind of feel like exactly what you said. So if it was like that too, I would like totally go for it. I actually have some of those pieces. So that is awesome. 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 I think um, it's called like the Tuscan collection because I have a, quite a few pieces from that collection that I found at the thrift store and I have just been collecting them. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And then we have Cheryl Ross. Uh, she says, I hope the flower platters are food safe. I'd never put them in the dishwasher. Oh, John's here. Say hi, John. John, say hi. No? John's taking a picture of me. What is that? <laughs> anyway, so... These, uh, the platters, they are food safe. They're made of melanin, melamine, so they're dishwasher safe and they're food safe. They're uh, made of like really sturdy plastic and that's what a lot of the dinnerware is made out of like that, um, that, that are like people that like that are for children. So, like if they drop it, it's not going to shatter, it's not going to break and it's really, really strong and resilient. Um, but that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. John's right here. He's videotaping me or trying to take a photo or something. But I love you guys so much, and there's the photo. Adios! You guys, check out this big Buddha bag. It's actually super... Is it big Buddha? Or am I making it up? Yeah, big Buddha. It has like the camellia from Chanel. What is this? This looks fake. This is definitely fake. You see that the logo on the interior is totally off. And usually... Michael Kors doesn't do crossbody straps like this. Very few, like, more expensive brands do crossbody